so good morning. Um, a view of me that you normally don't see, at least in these videos, because I prefer to show you what's going on. But in response to a couple of you saying that it was difficult to get an angle, and I agree on this last video, behind me, I've got yet another angle from a video that was supposed to be just like a quick social media thing. But I went ahead and I'm doing a full tutorial, which is not normal. Yeah, that's breakfast. That's like a sausage that I've got left. Um, it's not normal for me to do voiceovers, so we're going to see how it goes. Um, but this is the same dying shad pattern just done on bull shad swim baits because I did a run of those before I filmed this video with the contender and the lipless and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope it's a little bit better for you. I'm going to, it's about 10 minutes long, um, but I'm going to walk through this with you guys in a voiceover. sessions. Hey guys, Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates, and I'm doing a voiceover. It's about 5.30 in the morning, and I'm going to try and do all of this in one take. The response from the last video, it's normally really positive, but when you guys have a hard time seeing the angle, this was never, this, the smartphone version was never intended to be an actual video. I wanted to put together some quick stuff for social media, but I did kind of do the entire thing on a, a 9 by 16 format so I figured I'd put it together for you guys and show you a different angle of the same type of situation as the last video. This is the dying shad pattern and it is on bull shad swim baits this time. Those have dropped to the website at www.jekyllbaits.com so you guys can pick those up there. Um, they are online right now. So basic format is the same. We have started with a black base that was stenciled over the top quarter of the spine area of these baits. And then we've overlaid gold. And I'm finishing up the gold on these baits right now. One of the cool things about this is that it adds contrast. So even after you've faded that in with the gold over top of the black, you still have a really good contrast going. So you can do a lot of different things with that. You could have, I could have used silver on this. But if you're looking, uh, I've got in the top right hand corner of the screen, I've got the photo that was courtesy of the Ackworth Georgia Shad Shack. And it's really cool. It's right off of Lake Ackworth and Alatoona. And they have live shad. And Mike is a big proponent of taking me there. And now I go there on my own. And we just photograph shad. So this is courtesy of them. And one of the things that I like to do as far as referencing is try and get as many live match the hatches as I can, uh, especially when it comes to these little guys because they are really, really pretty when you're looking at all the pearlescence that they have. So we're just finishing up the gold here. On the next frame coming up, I am going to be switching over to the stencils. So this is the same format as the last video. We are doing the iridescent violet, which is a Createx color. It's a water-based acrylic paint. And I'm using the snakeskin modeled stencil, which is from uh, Anarchy Model UK. Now he is not the only guy that I use for stencils. Brian has been uh, a collaborative partner and has gifted me some stencils over the years and I greatly appreciate it. So I try to shout him out whenever I'm using his stuff, as I do Russ Allen from Insane Custom Stencils. Pretty much any small businesses that are not huge giant box type deals, I like to like to encourage you guys to, to all look at. So this is just the other side of those shad um, doing the same thing. But I'm really hoping that the angle is better and the framing is going to get better as we go along through this video. Now on this next bit real quick, I'm adding some Vallejo color shift and uh, it's going to go over top of the, the, the finished bait here and I'm just adding in a little bit of finishing up the violet I think in this one. And there we go. Okay, now we're doing, <laughs> now we're doing the Vallejo. Um, this is the Vallejo green gold. It's a color shift and it comes in a set of six. And now, I've, and I've also got the descriptions for all these, where the links where you guys can get these. I've gotten all of these on Amazon. Although I'm currently, um, I'm currently shopping around the Capital One app, which is a really good comp shop app. So I can link that for you guys as well. 
a uh, little bit of black underneath the eye here and that's just to give it a little bit of depth when I put in that gold eye and if you'll notice on the pattern there is a little bit of black underneath so I'm really trying to follow this pattern as best I can um, and again the, the whole voiceover thing is new to me so I'm watching the video I'm watching myself paint instead of actually painting which I prefer that style because I'm able to kind of like teach as I go but this is just a little bit of black and now I am adding this is the Pixis yeah so on this is this is something that you guys didn't get on the um, the crankbaits because there's just a lot more real estate on swim baits so on this one uh, I've got some Pixis alcohol ink which is really super shiny and metallic I've got two colors that I'm going to use on this uh, right behind the gill plate and onto the gill plate is this diamond skin green and it's uh, I'm also using a dragon color which is more like a like a bluish mermaid type color so the green is going on now and again all of the links are going to be in the description I'm also covering the spine of this with a detailed black magenta which is going to help when I coat black and then color shift towards the end of this video. Most of this is in the same format. Here goes that mermaid blue on just the tail piece and the top of the spine right behind the, the gill plates. So if you'll notice in the, uh, the picture of the shad up in the top right corner, that is there. There's a little bit of blue throughout this bait. And you're not going to see that all the time. Um, when a fish is moving through the water, what you're going to see is a lot of flash and, and, and different colors come out because their scales have pearlescence in them. So we try to match that as best we can on videos like this on, on when we're doing some stuff like this. So now I'm adding some raw umber. Just a little, little bit of it right above the, uh, the peck fin and that's in the video as well or that's in the picture you'll see as well and now we have got just a little bit of raw umber on the nose of this bait so I'm just finishing up what's in the cup and I'm adding it in to the nose of the baits now I'm referencing what I'm doing I always like to make sure I'm looking at the picture which is on the iPad Pro so I much prefer to get like renewed refurbished when I can get it it's a lot less expensive but I have found that the video quality and the photograph quality on the iPad Pro is far beyond what it was on the regular iPads I'm laying in that lateral line the medium line and I'm doing that in a detailed black magenta uh, it's enough of a purple that I think that I can match the purple. It's a really bright purple in the picture, and I just made a decision to subdue that a little bit because there's so many other paints going on. So this is a detailed black magenta that's on this lateral line. So now I'm looking at this bait. I'm going to add black just to mimic a little bit of scale flaking. And if you look at the, the tail end of this uh, photograph and the back towards the tail, it's a really dark streak on that, uh, on that lateral line. So I'm using the edge of this stencil to create that. And then again on the wakes and the 4x4s. So the bull shads that are out now are 4x4, wake, and the 6-inch swimmer on the website. I'm free handing in just a little bit of pearl black here so that you guys can kind of see because there is a little bit of bruising there's a little bit of black that's just ahead of the, uh, the kill dot so I just I used a stencil on the on the contender one and with the because uh, it's smaller and this one I just decided to, to freestyle adding the kill dot in here we're about uh, eight and a half minutes into the video we've only got a couple minutes left and I'm going to show you the reveal at the end and then there's going to be a workshop update that comes out probably today or tomorrow today is Tuesday when I'm uh, it's 11 7 we're a couple days away from Veterans Day so just adding that kill dot in with some opaque black 
And on this, I also decided not to go crazy and overspray any kind of um, color shift on the kill dot. Mike likes a lot of color, color shift on the baits that I do for him. But just for this, I really wanted to stick to this photograph as best I could and try and match this hatch. The only thing that I wasn't comfortable doing, and maybe I could have, but I don't know if you guys would have liked it, was uh, instead of the detail black magenta on the uh, lateral line, on the, on the medial line, doing that, that brighter purple. But it just seemed like, eh, I was going to go for a little bit more muted of a color. I'm adding just a little bit. If you look at the top of the spine in this picture on the reference photo, there's black, like it's actual black in there. So I wanted to use uh, a little bit and add that in. And now you can see that I'm painting the tail yellow. Yes, I do paint the tails, especially with crappy and trout. Um, some of you like it, some of you don't. It does not affect the swimmability of the bait. The, the paint will come off eventually, uh, as will any clear or residue. But for some of these, like the tail in this photograph is yellow, bright yellow. So I just kind of wanted to try and go with what I could. You can see that in the iPad Pro behind me that I'm setting down to reference. And then here is the walk around. Just a real quick look at how that is without clear coat. There's no clear coat on these yet, obviously. You guys are going to see that in the workshop update that I'm going to do today. They're all done. So I will show you guys that and some other cool stuff that I'm working on. And then we've got the final picture. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope the angle has been better. Please let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers. <laughs> and happy casting from Jekyll Bates and me, Sleepy Jen. <laughs> Not Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Jen. At... <laughs>